scratches on my face. I had like a calcis on my hand. I touched my face this morning and it like irritated me. But it wasn't the cat. Cat didn't scratch me. Let me know if there's too much wind and if you can hear me. Uh, that guy's truck says emergency response team on top of it. It's kind of crazy. But we got a cab over, guys. Came out of nowhere. Started talking about it, put it into fruition, prayed about it. And one of our subscribers actually found it for me. Just like a subscriber, Stephen Mims, found me uh, that W9. Super crazy. Looks like a remote of the old DJ. Oh, I see what you're saying, yeah. Thanks a lot. Uh, I got my glasses on. Sanini, thanks a lot, man. Steve, there you go. So that one in the picture is not the actual truck. I don't want to give it away, but it looks just like that truck. No thanks, what's going on, Gracie? Happy Monday. Preston, Jonathan. What's up, JT? What's going on, man? Edward, Russell, Benjamin, Kevin Hare, what's happening, man? But we got, it's crazy how, okay, for wishing, the only thing it doesn't have that I wish it did is a Detroit motor. But I need your guys' input on the big Cam Cummins. I've heard about them a million times. I guess all these trucks came with them. The cabbie, we get, we, uh, it's a K100 Aerodyne, yeah. It's crazy. What's up? Uh, Bo just texted me. Bo said, are you gonna have her shined up? Because Bo's seen a picture. Bo's with safetyautoprep.com. He sponsors all of our giveaways. Trucking with Ralph, what's going on? Richard. Sorry, you guys' comments are coming in. Let me know if it's too windy, because I'm getting wind in my face. Greg Lynch, what's going, what's going on, man? Me too. David Dishman, what's going on? CW, BJ and the Bear Truck, yep. So that's the thing I wanted, just because of the kids and stuff, and if I do go like a little local runs or go to Charleston with it or go to the coast with it, I wanted to have that little bigger um, sleeper, and it matches that, you know? Let's see if I can see my hands. It matches the top of, well, UPS just went by, but this poor guy's having a heck of a time. Backing into this door. It took me a while to get in my door, too, because I had the, you can't see, but there's like a, try to get around those. This poor guy, let's see if I can flip this around. Emergency response team. Gotta give him credit though, it is hard. Um, when you don't have a truck on each side to like gauge, it is hard to back up. You said the magic word, you bought a kid up. There you go. Cab Over Culture, what's going on, man? Kansas, what's going on? Yeah, Cab Over Culture, you got some awesome ones out there in California. Shadow Frost. We bought a Kenworth K100. Aerodyne. The biggest thing I love about the truck is the interior is like really nice for how old the truck is. Why does it keep going dark? Congrats, thanks a lot, what's up? Rachel not getting better, we had to wait all day again to get a load. We finally got one. I kept denying it, denying it, it was like 1400 bucks, we got it for 1900. Sorry, it's all, it's all good old car. I bet it's a hog. Hog came, a huge game, I guess. So it is. it does run. Uh, it had the frame stretched, like the one in the picture. So um, it's got a little bit of work. And it needs a couple things done, probably like two days worth of work to get it to drive. But the same subscriber, shout out to him. And then this isn't finalized yet. I have the cash. I'm going down tomorrow. But uh, that's why I'm not going to like show exactly what truck it is. Someone else goes down there and buys it right for me. <laughs> but uh, I don't think that's going to happen. But we'll see. Nice guy selling it. Uh, just lost interest in it. What he was doing with it, so I'm I'm super grateful. Uh, it's going to be a pretty pretty cool uh, addition to the channel, I think. And it has the same, like I said, the top windows of that. Well, another truck drove by the W9. Same guy. I think that's what the Aerodyne is. I almost bought one from another YouTuber, that Chad Keegan guy, but he didn't want to sell it. I don't know if he didn't want to sell it to me or just didn't want to sell it after he found out I was going to try and buy it. Free truck operation, yep. FLD, what's up, Steven Mims? Uh, FLD is going to the cement guys. They're fixing the uh, trans clutch right or the clutch brake right now. And they're going to put it in service on their fleet because they've lost a couple of trucks. So I'd rather go to them for a good price than uh, just sell it to somebody else, you know? What are your plans for the new truck? So it already has a bumper. It's got 24 fives on the front, 22 fives on the rear. A lot of these trucks came with spring 
rear uh, suspension. Uh, so they've cut the frame and they put airbags out of a 2006. They just cut the whole 2006 frame off of a W900, or maybe it was a T660, I forget what it was. And that's the rear suspension, so it won't be as bad as the spring. A lot of you guys are saying these uh, trucks are really bad. Um, the bouncy and stuff, you just extend the frame, it makes it less, so it is extended frame. Yeah, BJ and the Bear, there you go. <laughs> that's what we got. But I've been, I, ever since I ever saw those trucks, what's up, Steve? How you doing, brother? Reminds me of BJ Bear. That's right, buddy. I do know. I've watched that movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, cool truck, BJ Bear. Everyone's saying BJ Bear. <laughs> Smash the like. Thanks, Joe. Sorry for squinting or having my glasses on, but my phone, it might be getting warm. It's kind of like, it's dim. I can't really see it. Justin, I misspoke your wife's name. No worries, her name's Katie. T-dubs. Found out my fridge. Dang it, man, I hate that. Uh, I bet the first thing you're gonna do with it is Cowboys take it to your friends. Yeah, I gotta talk to them now. And so I'm thinking of, it's a little little insight for you guys. Um, that company that's always at Matt's, kind of down the way from the Green APU, they're the ones with the red wheels. And they have had a trailer there, but they have all this room and I wanna, get with them and I want to put red wheels on this cab over so we can get uh, maybe by next year Matt's put it in their booth that'd be kind of cool get a new grill for it I want to do like new radiator all new hoses get it reliable it does run I don't know how bad of compression it has how much blow by it has uh, that kind of stuff but we'll get that figured out over the time but it's not gonna be like a hard heavy work truck like that one is it'll just be my uh, local truck content truck that kind of thing come on guys Exit the chat. Okay, thanks a lot. After Justin drove a international, hated it. That yeah, well, that's the thing. I, a lot of people said cab overs are. I'm not getting it for the comfort or for the uh, probably. And also, people said they're warm because the motor's right there. I'm getting it for the content and for uh, just having one. I always, always always think they're super cool. So we're gonna have a cab over now uh, with that big old Aerodyne um, cool sleeper. Your kids at the lot where you park them gonna jaw drop <laughs> i'm gonna jaw drop it's gonna be fun for everybody <laughs> yeah it's, it's bj and the bears version yes it is so this volvo oh goodness guys i feel bad for this dude i'm gonna go out and help him but he's still not in the door he just like bumped his uh tandems i think he's trying to slide his tandems or something Dakota, we still have our Uber thing, yep. Gracie, you know that you know the answer to that question. Oh yes, Kevin, it does. It rides it way better. So definitely the shocks were a little wore out. Um, I think the bags they can't really wear out unless they pop. But yeah, that's a lot not smoother ride. Thanks a lot, Kevin. Man, I don't, don't want to watch this. Uh, poor guy, I don't know what he's doing. I'm gonna go help him. Got his doors open. Maybe he's checking the pins. I don't know, but his tandems are not sliding, and they don't, really don't require you to slide your tandems here anymore. They, they used to, but now they're that's light loads going in there. <coughs> Mister, uh, I wish I could see better. <laughs> Mister bus driver, thanks, man. Located in North Carolina, uh, Adam. We can't say that, buddy. You guys are gonna go try and find it and take it. No, I'm just joking. Thanks a lot, uh, Chris. I've talked to the guy all morning. One of our subscribers, a great guy, uh, we might be doing a collab together. He has an RGN. We might be going down there to get it. Or I might be another shop down in, uh, down in somewhere, which is where uh, I'll get it fixed up so we can get it to drive back because it needs a couple more things uh, reattached and done. So, But I'm just super excited to get it. What did I buy? I bought a cab over, K100. Uh, what's up, cab over kid? Well, you're a cab over kid. There you go. What's up, Derek? When do you see it? Oh, so this load's taking me right to it. That's why I booked this load. I was looking for this to take me where it's at. And so this load doesn't deliver till later in the day. I'm gonna go first thing in the morning. And uh, of course I'll have a bunch of content, uh, <clears throat> getting the title for it and paying for it. T-Dubs wouldn't got the extra cash I needed out for it. So that's pretty cool, it's awesome. I'm excited, guys. I didn't think it was gonna happen this quickly. And then that, he sent me this link, My one of my, our subscribers, 
And I looked at it, I was like, that's exactly what I want, minus it doesn't have the 12.7, but the 12.7 was not in a lot of these trucks. It was not in many at all, it was swapped. And I talked to Allison about the motor. Um, any, anybody watching this on the replay, give me comments on the 855. It's 855 cubic inch, big cam uh, Cummins. So uh, it has a brand new, not a brand new, but out of a 2014, it has a new 13 speed in it. Oh, it's got a lot of cool stuff. Brand new drive line, brand new drive shafts. Um, it's it's ready to work if I wanted it to, but I'm just gonna have it as like a little fun car to, to or fun truck to fix up in the back background. Thanks, man. Why is my phone so dim? Thanks a lot, uh, Carmelo. What does T-Dub think about the new truck? She trusts me. I just said, hey, it's gonna be a good truck. It's gonna be great content. T-Dub's her hair look great. Yeah, she, thanks, Gracie. Her hair does look amazing. She's I think she's doing a video today uh, on her channel. Somebody gave her a free couch. I don't know. So they sent her a free couch so she reviews it. That's what those boxes are in the front room. So I, don't, I think she's going to put that together today. I don't know. I don't know what T-Dub's doing. Uh, what's up, SoCal? How you doing, man? Uh, Jared, what's going on? Uh, we all know what color it is. You're going to leave the railroad to go trucking? There you go. FLD is going to the cement place. I'm going to give them a good, well, I already gave them a good deal on it. And uh, sorry about the wind. Whoa, you guys are going to fly towards me. Let's go in the truck because it's windy out here. But uh, the guy next to me has his um, truck running. And it's kind of rattly. So I was going to stay out here, but we will play Frogger and uh, go, into, go into W9. Sorry about the shakiness. It's hot out here today, guys. Like 81. Shouldn't be wearing jeans, but I am. This guy's got like white lines painted on the back of his trailer tires. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, Rod, come on inside with me, guys. Uh, uh, uh. Let me get you. Sorry. Bam! Now you're on the. We'll go ahead and roll this window up so I'm not hearing his motor the whole time. And hopefully, my phone, I can see it again. Raining in Wisconsin? Dang it. What's up, Scotty Collins? But yeah, if you guys, uh, thanks a lot, Tyler. If you guys are just tuning in, we bought a K100 Aerodon, just like the one in the picture for the thumbnail, but that's not the truck. I just put that for attention. I didn't want to jinx it and put the truck that I'm actually buying out there. So uh, you guys might be able to, but the doghouse gets hot. That's what everyone says, SoCal. Uh, it's stretched frame. It's just for content, you know? got the big cam Cummins I don't know nothing about that motor but people say you just feed it air and fuel and it'll run so that'll be different not a lot of computer system on it um, I can't wait to get it it's just gonna what year is it I can't tell you that either let me guess <laughs> there you go Matthew you pretty much got it figured out that's what I want to do with it that's what's what gonna have right there mr. Scotty big cam for her yes oh cow uh, man it runs man it's got a video of it running is a great engine, best comes ever. That's what people say. They say it doesn't have the power of these new ones. Like I talked to Allison and Jerry last night about it. I was like, hey, this is what I'm going to buy. And then Jerry's like, it's a dinosaur motor, man. Don't get that thing. I'm like, I just want it for content. I'm not trying to pull mountains with it. Um, but I guess you can tune them up. So it's another Kenworth. Yeah, it's exactly the same windows on top of this one, the Aerodyne. It's a stretched frame K100 Aerodyne. So that's all I can tell you guys. But tomorrow, of course, you're going to see the whole video of us uh, getting the title. And then we got to figure out if I'm going to get it roadworthy down there. Is It has like a new suspension off of 20, 2006 for the rear. The frame's been well done. Um, and then the, the motor runs, but it needs to have some stuff hooked back up. Because when they did the frame, they had to, to cut some stuff. So it's just not complete in that sense. But um, new 13 speed out of a 2014 Peterbilt. Peterbilt tanks on it. Um, so he was going to make it like drop to the ground. So he wanted the lower tanks, not the fat can worse. Looks cool. Looks cool. Needs a little bit of, um, sandblasting. I need to get the, the paint off the tanks and, uh, just clean it up. It's got some, some like that green moss mold on it. Uh, just cab over truck. And there you go. Nope. <laughs> cab over culture, man. And then, um, I don't know if he has it or not, but it has twin stacks. Uh, I don't know if he has the air cleaner, but a lot of stuff was taken off when they did the stretch. But you can see him in the, in the, um, pictures, but. Um, need to get that all put back on driving truck with the kid kind of truck way back in the day Yeah, so I was talking about in today's video like when I was a kid driving around the LA highway It's like 405 and 55 You stop in traffic. You would see like a cab over and had like the little 
little uh, breathers on top of the exhaust, a little, oh, I forget what they even call those things. But I always thought that was so cool. I didn't know nothing about trucking though. I didn't have, never even sat in a truck. Just trucking cab over edition, yep. Last day off before start my work. There you go, man. Everybody's getting back to work after a long holiday. White tanks with red end caps, yeah. So the one thing I think I'm gonna do red in the interior, Another thing about these cab overs, a lot of them, like their interior is trash. This one's like a nine out of 10, real nice interior. Has the double beds, um, but the seats, the seats are, are old. So they're still the original Kenworths and they've been kind of covered up. So I might take it back to the same guy who did these seats, get that diamond in them, but do like a red, do red seats. That would be super cool. Like a gray, gray back with a red um, suede. That would be, or red stitching. I think that would be pretty cool. I'm in school for a month, so I'll be catching up on other things a lot, Matthew. That cab over from television show is no one said it yet. No. Uh, which is harder to back? Debbie Nine? I don't know. I would imagine a stretch cab over, you can <laughs> really put the trailer over the whole side of the frame if you needed to, or like really jackknife it, because you're not going to hit the back of your sleeper. That's for sure. Um, but yeah, I think that that's going to be a few upgrades on a mechanical Cummins can put over a thousand horsepower. Man. That's crazy. Pittsburgh power, and he can get you right on the mechanical Cummins set it around 600 horsepower. That'd be crazy. <laughs> Try and keep original. Yeah, it's already stretched, locale. I mean, it's already the the cab I'm going to try. The interior, yeah, I'm trying to keep that all nice. And and then the red wheels, I want to talk to that company. They're out of Indiana, and they didn't have any trucks in their booth. I'm like, hey, you guys want to have a nice stretched cab over? I mean, it's not going to – I'll keep it a working truck. It's not going to be painted frame and – all decked out but it'll be mechanically sound with some really nice shined up wheels <laughs> so a nice nice grill and uh maybe the grill we could even get that like powder coated a cherry red to match the wheels that'd be cool or at least the surround on the grill i don't know but right now i want to get mechanical sound i want to get it running i want to get it back parked next to the w9 so that'd be cool that's what we're looking for but i can't it just for wishing so quickly guys a great price on it um he almost sold it like two weeks ago the guy was going to trade him a uh, like crew cab cummins and then he, the guy drove all the way out there to see it and then said that uh, his wife said no. <laughs> like, what? And he's like, I can't believe this guy. Yeah, K100 just to match the W9. So now we're W9, K100, and they both have the Aerodyne sleepers. So I'm excited about it, guys. Big cam, um, 400, 855 cubic inch Cummins, mechanical motor. Shouldn't be much that when it breaks, you should be able to figure it out. <laughs> what size do I wear a football jersey? Uh want to send you a trevor oh that'd be cool that'd be awesome father uh 2x probably is what i wear um that'd be awesome it, it's a 13 speed it's got a 20 um out of a 2014 peterbilt that was wrecked it's got a, a new 13 speed in it so and then a brand new drive line all new uh drive shafts new carrier bearings because they stretch the frame i know the people that make the cab overs longer so they can put a second axle underneath them there you go Ever been to Menards? I don't think so. Say the truck you're planning on getting and say it's a 7084 for the years I'm just guessing. Jay Harrison, you're real close, but it's not any of those years. Am I red light? Nope, still green light. I'm gonna work in this, this load, didn't pick up by this appointment time, so don't know how long I'm gonna be here, but I'll hang out with you guys for a little bit, but just grateful to get a load, take me right to where the truck's at. Okay, thanks a lot, SoCal, appreciate it, man. The smoking a bandit with that Camaro. There you go. <laughs> August West, what's going on? Cha Chao. There you go. Paris has a set of those V Star red anodized wheels on his cab over. Who does? Uh, Mike the truck nut. I gotta look that guy up. I don't even know who that is. I wanna see what that looks like. Michael Gray, it is not that close to me, buddy. So we have a the actual the, the guy who helped me find it, who suggested it to me, sent it to me. Um, he runs our gen. So he's like, hey, man, we can go grab one of my RGNs and go grab it. I'm like, ah, that would be awesome, man. <laughs> I would really appreciate that. Pay him for his time, pay for the fuel. That'd be cool. And he has a W9 like me. Just the same 86-inch sleeper, but his is way nicer. Crazy world of YouTube, guys. I mean, I've, this truck was found uh, one of our subscribers. <laughs> he realizes it's April Fool's Day, right? Yep, but it's not April Fool's, I promise you. <laughs> You guys will see the cab over I bought tomorrow. Got a fine ride there. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Scotty Collins. 
Seen a Peterbilt with C16. That's pretty nice. 1200 horsepower. Peterbilt, and he's a bunch of cabinets. There you go. My truck is a Canadian Peterbilt salesman. Really? Is Heavy D gonna stop by? No, but I do know, I do know Dave Sparks. Uh, I used to make grills for his trucks back in the day for his uh, Diesel Brothers stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna look up Mike, Mike the Truck Nut. Okay, never, never heard about him. Can I make it a racing truck? No, BJ and a Bear. There you go, Tony. No, it's just gonna be a good old uh, content creator. Fix things here and there. New grill on it. Maybe red wheels. Maybe bring it to a truck show here and there. Um, but the interior is already pretty dang nice. It needs seats. Clean up the dash. Probably paint the dash the color of the truck. Uh, just little stuff like that. So I hear a bunch of stuff like it's my trailer. But I, maybe they're staging it. But it's not my trailer. I'm still green light. Unless the light's broken. Who knows? Because they lock you in here. It's J Live. What's going on? That show is BJ and the Bear. Yeah. I'll probably get another trailer still. I mean, it doesn't hurt to have stuff like this and to have the two trucks. I just wanted another truck with a sleeper. A cab over a little different than a FL, FLD or an FLD Classic, which has the better motor that I, I, I think. But everyone that is, has had those big cams say they are reliable if you do them right. So we'll see. Thanks a lot, David. Boys are going to love it. I think so, too. I think it's just going to be a cool. Uh, is rebuilding a burnt out cable? Okay, he's doing, doing a really good job. There you go, Timothy. Got to look that up. When will Matt's come to where I am? Matt's is it's Mid America Truck Show, so it's always in the same spot. It's always in Louisville, but I think there is a truck show. I don't know if in Denver, but I know there's one a couple in Texas too. But we just go to that one because 400 mile drive from us. Typically, we can get a lot of, um, load up there. This year, the, the rates are so bad though, couldn't do it. But uh, we bought a cab over, shorter frame than your W9. I think it's about the same, which is crazy. Just no big old sleeper on there. Uh, yeah, I can't wait to either, Kyle. Peterbilt salesman, uh, Prince George. There you go. No, we sold the FLD to our buddies at the cement place. They had like three more of their trucks go down. Like one blew a head. Um, I don't know if one, I don't know what the other two happened to them or something like that. But one of them's in the shop with the head off. And they're like, hey, we need some more trucks. Do you still have your FLD? And I was just hanging out talking with them, having lunch one day. And I said, yeah. <laughs> He's like, can I get it? I'm like, sure. <laughs> so I'd rather go to them that they can use it. Mike was, was he? That's cool. He was at Matt's too. Need a driver for the new truck? No, we're just uh, <laughs> just gonna sit there and be an extra content creator and um, do stuff here and there to it. And send me pics, bro. I will, SoCal. Did you get your Apple tag out of it? Oh no, it's still in there. T Dubs is actually the one who remembered that. We'll just know where it's going all the time. There's two Apple tags in there. Um, but yeah, we'll get them out because right now they're fixing the uh, clutch brake on it. And he hasn't completely like taken the title and give me the money yet. It just he said he wants it. I asked Allison already. She said, "Don't buy it." <laughs> Allison and Jerry both said, mm -mm, "Don't do it." <laughs> I was like, "Ah, well, I'm doing it." <laughs> you have the Debbie Nine and the new truck. Ask Allison. Yeah, I did. What's going on, Three Angels? You ever thought about going to the semi-casual truck show? I have not. I didn't know they had a truck show. Um, but I know they're in Tennessee. Some yeah, like you said they're in Tennessee. What's the truck number going to be? I don't know. I was going to make this one 1776, so maybe I'll make the cab over 1776. Or just three. Like the Trinity or like my three sons. I don't know. We'll see. But this one's 316. Pump our truck and giving the old girl a new life. Yeah. Have you ever considered car hauling? I haven't. Maybe. What's up, Quick? Hey, how you doing, buddy? I have not considered car hauling. Um, but maybe being brought by BMW, that might be something. But I'm not going to buy a dedicated car hauler, you know? Those trucks are expensive. When will the boys do some truck driving? I don't know. Who knows? I could probably teach Casey to float right now and cash. <laughs> if I could just get the truck moving, they could float. <laughs> but um, oh, we'll do that later. Maybe we'll do that in the uh, cab over. Who knows? Have some videos, but it's just, yeah, stuff like that. Gen Z, what's going on? Uh, tile trackers instead of air tags. We turned off by Apple. Oh, wow. Main truck shows are Gats, Dallas, Texas. Yeah, Matt's, um, Iowa 80. That'd be cool to go to the Iowa 81. Freddie, Freddie, what's going on, buddy? We'll watch your channel. Thanks a lot, Mike. What's up, homie? I'm out here in Washington State. There you go. 
You guys still got some good weather. It's getting warm out here, guys. It says 88 in the dash right now. Oh, man. But if you're just coming in here, we did buy. I tried driving a cab over. I couldn't keep it in the lane. <laughs> we'll see if hopefully I can. Uh, this is a special trailer and high insurance, I'm sure. Uh, oh, yeah. Always swap a tool. That's what I asked Allison and Jerry. I said, can I swap? Can I grab or keep my FLD and just put that motor into it? Um, and they said you can, which is a little little bit of uh, intensive electrical stuff, but I don't, I don't even think it would be that hard because the 127 doesn't have much electronics to it. Just that one little red light of death and then ECM, so I don't know. Run a K100 every day. There you go, Three Angels. I'd look you up. Do you have a channel too? The new 85 Ford cab over putting a 48 foot reefer. There you go. There you go, Lewis. I run a K100 every day. That's awesome. I probably won't be running every day. I love this truck. This truck is super comfortable, but I did buy one for YouTube content. Something cool to look at and something else to have is like a second truck. Just in case something, God forbid, ever happens to this truck, I can still run with another truck. Heck, it'd be a cab over, but uh, just to, to have a second truck that I had a sleeper in it, you know? We just need to get a green APU on it now. It does have a stretch frame. It has plenty of room for it. 12 would be easy to put in. Not that easy, man, <laughs> to get some loads because I can find another there's probably four or five trucks right now just around me that have 12 sevens that are like under 10 grand uh just everyone's trying to sell their stuff like I said to everybody this is the time to buy this truck was dropped from like I think the original price was 22 grand to what I got it for and I'll disclose that when once I actually have it if I if I get it praying everything goes good no one jumps in there and buys it right now Richie auction has a lot of dry vans there you go Goes down, you could probably still work. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I just have another truck. BJ and Bear is a great movie. Oh, heck, Larry. If you would have up to old TV show, BJ and the Bear, there you go. Big, get a lot of horsepower out of their very good engines. Easy to work on. I've done many in many frame on them. My father-in-law, good. God rest. There you go, Frank. God rest your, all right, Peter, your dad. That's your father-in-law, but that's awesome, man. I'm cool that you, uh. They have rebuilt them, but they're not. I, mean, I can imagine they're probably less extensive than this ISX that I've rebuilt twice. Got the missus' permission to get my Hellcat. There you go, man. Hellcat Durango. I love them. Uh, put a drop axle on the stretch frame. That would be cool. If you have the cab over, but get one of those loads, you know, are going to tight dock. There you go. Austin Powers. <laughs> uh, oh, sorry. There you go to Austin West. Apex Transit rolling by. Oh, if you check my, uh, they'll be in today's video too, but uh, this guy today, right across from the Burger King, I like, always take my kids to, which I haven't gone in a while because Cash, my oldest, doesn't like their nuggets, just decided I didn't like them anymore. Anyways, this guy pulled into a place that's been closed for like, since I've lived there, probably 30 years. It's a really old building and it goes like down real, real steep. And he went in there uh, and took out all the uh, like fiber optic cables, all the telephone lines, the internet cables, <laughs> ripped them all down. I'm like, oh my goodness. So they were sitting in between his cab and his uh, drive van. Not good. Josh Evers, what's up, buddy? Thanks a lot for sending me that link in my uh, truck, man. Have you a good air seat? Mine is bouncy, bouncy. <laughs> there you go, Paul. A green APU. Yeah, I know. Uh, Tim, I, I, they, uh, uh, we saw him actually in the lobby. We saw Steve and uh, I think it's his wife. When we first got to Matt's, it was like 2.33 in the morning. And we got checked into our hotel and they were in the lobby uh, having some pizza. Europe, the most trucks are cab overs. Yeah, but um, Green APU, I, when they, when I, we were the first content creator to ever work with Green APU. And then they kind of asked us, like, who do you know these people? Are those people? I'm like, yeah, all great, great channels. Check them out. And that was pretty cool that they put a, on a cab over because now I don't know if uh, Steve's is a Kenworth. Probably. I don't know if it is. Or Peter Builder or Kenworth. I don't remember. Um, but I'm sure it's just the frame on it. They can. They can put another APU on mine. I don't know where they put the box underneath, but since it has mine has that big Aerodyne uh, sleeper, it should be able to hide that box somewhere. More expensive to rebuild? Yes, Joe. That's what I watched the video yesterday. One guy, don't know where he's from, but him and his dog are talking to the camera, and he did like a comparison of the cat and the 855 Cummins, which is the big cam. Or it could have a small. He, he explained it really well. Like the cams aren't actually a bigger lope duration. Like if you know what cams are. The lope, if it's really arched up and high, it'll, it'll give that chop, like a Corvette, like a Camaro, an LS1, LS7, whatever. Um, but so the big cam is not so much that the cam's lobes are more duration. The cam itself is bigger. So I guess the smaller cam ones would break more. So the big cam, it's not like, oh, it's a big power cam. It's that it has a bigger actual cam. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, Steve's the Pete. There you go. 
How do you get around your HOA with having a truck? Eh, I don't I don't keep it there long, put it that way. So it's not overnight, never overnight. Just do some work on it, hit it with the power washer. I would love to go to the lake with it, but um, kids go to school right there. That's our house that we're in 90% of the time because that's the, the schoolhouse, you know? But uh, eventually, well, I'm working with a friend right now. We're moving that shed. I have a 34 foot by 14 foot shed on this huge 40 by 30 foot pad I have out there where my truck and boat and my jet skis are parked. And he's gonna help me move that, build a foundation and put that kind of right next to the single wide. And then that'll give me the, the starting blueprint of building at least a pole barn out there. Like get something up in the air that covers everything, get some two 14 foot doors and then we can, it already has 220 um, power going to it. Put some uh, compressors in there, get some air and then um, start messing with, with trucks and cars hopefully out there. Uh, I know, I just remember you had one done shocks, airbags. Yeah, and I remember when I did those shocks, now that you told me that, Joshua, they were like different sizes on each side. So whoever did those shocks in the beginning, they put different shocks in and then they put the bolts in the wrong way. Yeah, the W9's right, running smoother now with the new shocks. 37 years, been gone since 94. Man, Fran, that's awesome. That rest in peace with your old cam. What will you do with your, this, this cam is gonna keep working. They have a small cam 350 also, there you go. Three for the 50 and a 400. And that, is that just horsepower rating there, um, SoCal? David, what's going on? Kevin Hurley, Steve's the Peterbilt. There you go. Uh, so happy seeing you all with Steve and Tim. You walked by Boss Trucker. Oh, what did I? Dang it. <laughs> I didn't know I walked by because I met Boston Trucker um, out at uh, Shell Rotella Truck Show. Now we know. There you go. Yeah. That's yeah, horsepower rating. Okay, that's what I figured. So yeah, big cam is just a bigger actual cam. It's not a bigger lope. Could you give team rates sometimes? Uh, yeah, I don't know if, I have to look on Truck Smarter. I'm sure they got team on there. Thanks a lot, Jeffrey. A 1985, there you go. Would you give team, there you go. But yeah, guys, new coming to the chat. We are, we bought a K100. Uh, the money's not in his hand yet, but I'll be meeting with him tomorrow morning. Uh, my load doesn't deliver till later in the afternoon, but this load's taking me right by where, uh, where the cab over is, that's awesome. That's why I tried to find this load. <laughs> That's awesome. Nice get ready for T-dubs from your Daytona peeps. Shell and Richie. What's up, Shell and Richie? How you guys doing? Hanging out with you is better than TV. I appreciate it, Mike. Uh, okay, so Orwell is at 84362. There you go. That's um, Steve's truck, right? There you go. Yeah, T-dubs understands it because she's just like, I trust you. T-dubs loves to save money. So she has her own little stash. And um, she doesn't like when I spend my money. But I'm like... Everything we own is an asset. So like the FLD is gonna, I get, I'm gonna make, I'll have more money back from the FLD than I'm spending on this truck, if put it that way. And I told her that, she's like, okay, all right. So you're getting one rid of the truck we never use and you're going to buy another truck? And I said, yeah, and it's gonna be like a better content creator and it's something that I'll feel better about like rebuilding and using. And she's like, okay, so she, she, she likes it. Uh, I don't know if it's an E code. I don't know, it's just K100. I don't know if it's, I think E came out later. I saw like a whole, I wasn't even looking this up, but like a whole cab over like a life or the the span of K100s. Like I guess they didn't change anything on them for the first six years and they came out in like 62. There was this cool little like short that came up on my phone. I didn't even, wasn't even looking for it. And it went like showed you all of when the motors changed and when they put the E on there with the year that that happened. And then they stopped them in 2002, but they're still alive and well over in um, Australia. They're called K200s. What's up, Jamie's? We're doing great. That's awesome, Shell. I don't know if it's an E or C, but I, I don't know. I guess that depends on the year. Okay, 83 is last year of the C, then it's not a C. I got the BJ and a bear. I did. Yep, stretch frame and all. <laughs> uh, it's almost almost drivable. We needed a couple of things done to it. Um, and I'm just glad that the seller lost interest. He's like, I was going to build this thing all crazy show, and I started doing it, and then I just don't have interest in it anymore. So, okay, cool, man. Yeah, I think it's almost the same length as W9. Yours is the last of the C. They change is square headlights. Mine has square headlights. Yes. It's all about being able to articulate what you're explaining to them. <laughs> exactly. So she said, she, she, she started off the, the conversation with her text message. I'm not mad, but <laughs> she wanted to like know why, why we're doing it. I'm like, well, she's like, we're not, it's an extra truck. It's a sleeper truck. That's part of the purpose. There's more of a content, cool truck to have. So we'll do little things here and there and, and run it here and there for local stuff. But I'm not running the long runs down to Florida and stuff with it. Um, I'll do more like around 
the North, the Carolinas, the up to Knoxville, that kind of stuff. That kind of stuff. Once we get that motor where I feel it's, uh, either way, it'll be fun with it. Yeah, I think so, SoCal. I'm getting loaded right now, Austin. Uh, I did, Jose. I got real lucky on that. It, now, actually, I didn't show that whole conversation with that broker, but he was mad at the beginning. He's like, like where I'm asking you so much to do because I kind of made a comment like, man, you guys are asking quite a lot for uh, detention. Like, I'm just, I'm here. I can prove it. I have my in and out times and I have video proof. I don't, I didn't tell him that, but um, and he got, came back kind of snippy. I'm like, oh, no big deal, man. He's like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm asking you so much to write in and out times. I'm like, you didn't say just write in and out times. You said like, have it signed, submit it by this time. I tell these people you're doing. I'm like, that's what they, the way they are. But uh, he ended up just giving me 200. Maybe he was being mean or maybe he was, uh, being nice but he and then he said like you should know better with food line i'm like then you should pay a better rate <laughs> if you know we're going to food line <laughs> i've never seen one of those you never seen what a cab over dwight that's what i saw all the time driving around uh when i was in, in la uh frugality is a trait of a good woman there you go greg <laughs> there's a cab over yard near where i live there you go yeah and i was just looking because like the um the grill shroud is kind of old, so I said I was just looking to see what those were going to cost, like 500 bucks for a brand new one, in middle part and the whole shroud, like the front of my hood. So that'll be that'll be a nice center point to get that done. Probably get it painted. It has not pretty decent paint, but uh, it even has that little fin thing on the very top. I don't know what you guys call that. So it has the Aerodyne sleeper, and then on top of that, it has a little little whoop. I don't know what that's saying. Sexy truck, but you'll get more views just off of that. Cab uh have that second kind of, yeah, that's why I've always wanted because I always thought they were cool looking. I'm like, that's a pretty cool looking truck, but I always wanted one to match the big uh, windows I have up here. So the Aerodyne was what it was, but there's not many of them out there. Uh, Jaden, how's your Easter, man? We did great. I hope you had a great Easter too. k fan can't go wrong. Yeah, and that's kind of the whole just trucking motto is like know your worth. So if we bought any other thing but a Kenworth, <laughs> it would have been a, it would have been a play on words that went disastrously wrong. So we kept the know your worth. Near Knoxville. There you go. Doug, you didn't miss much. We just bought a cab over. Um, it is April Fool's, but it's not a joke. <laughs> be picking it up. I probably won't be picking it up tomorrow, but there will be an extensive video of it tomorrow. So we're heading down to where it's at tonight. And then um, tomorrow morning we'll be checking it out and paying the man cash. And then uh, we'll get paid for the FLD. I don't know when we will. Uh, from cement truck but they're gonna fix the clutch brake and uh that's kind of like an offset and we're paying less for the cab over than what we're selling the fld for so win-win uh what's up beast of logan i turned 41 happy birthday so it's a truck from like bj and a bear yes the picture of the truck that's on there right now that guy is asking seventy five thousand dollars for that truck and it's a spring ride rear suspension sure it's a stretch frame and all that but uh that's that's not the maybe in the market in 2020 or 2020 you could sell for that much but not right now so we got a significantly less landon's mom what's going on hey landon everybody say hi to landon in chat hope you're doing good buddy hope you're living it living the dream man larry there you go 10-4 um sorry i got some uh uh i record and edit with just my iphone man i have the iphone whatever 15 pro max three camera thing and it has a terabyte of uh, whatever memory. And that's everything you see, everything you're on it right now, looking at me. <laughs> that's a kid's day. <laughs> this morning we told our kids it was snowing outside and uh, they were super excited. And I was like, we shouldn't have uh, tricked them like that. Let's say he turned turn his truck off, but he hasn't turned it off yet, but it's getting warm in here. Thanks a lot, Quentin. Our aerodynes are worth uh, money sitting in a field, never mind running. Yeah. That's what I figured, and this one's a pretty nice one with the stretch frame. I was like, oh, I'll take that, man. And a subscriber, uh, his name's JT, sent it to me. Thanks a lot, so much, JT, for sending me that that link, man, because I didn't. I was looking. I would even like move my Facebook Marketplace, and I looked on Truck Paper. I would move my uh, little area, whatever, to like Dallas. I'd move it to uh, California, uh, Arizona. Move it up in St. Louis, and there just wasn't nothing. And he, he, I didn't even see this one. He sent it to me. I was like, wow. <clears throat> that is perfect. At Doug, look at Facebook Marketplace. There you go. It's clear. All right. Just got my bills been here at receiver since midnight. Man, Kevin, 
sounding like me, man, when you get in these old grocery store places, man. That's called a whale tail. Okay, so it has a whale tail on top of it, too. You turn 52. There you go, Brian Jones. Happy birthday, man. That's a whale tail on top. Keeping the red and white theme. I'm, I think we're going to be in a bear. Need now is the chimp. There you go. <laughs> Kylan's my little chip, my youngest boy. <laughs> That's where I look. Maybe I need to expand my shirt. That's what I was talking about, Doug. Like, you got to look around. Don't just stay in your little area. Uh, hello from Orange County. There you go. That's where I grew up, man. Grew up in Brookerston Ball. But it has, so if you're just coming in here, it has a big cam, uh, 400, 855 cubic inch Cummins motor. It's a mechanical motor, so it uh, it's hard to kill it unless you really have something going on in there. You got a lot of blow by or a bent valve or a liner that's dropped. I don't even know if those have liners. Anybody who's rebuilt them, I guess they, they probably have to have liners. But it's a um, K100 Aerodyne. I would have sent you some, JT, didn't know you are in the market. My bad, did I? I just was, just in like the last couple of weeks, I've been talking about it. Hope to get to meet you at one point. Me too, Bradley. Can't wait to see what uh, Just Trucking does next. Thanks for sharing. Thanks a lot, Larry, for stopping in. Late to the live. How you doing, John? No, the rig will be uh, debuted tomorrow. Hasn't, I have to go. This load is taking me to it. We're going to go down to it, and then um, this load delivers tomorrow. Later. We're red light guys. You guys are good luck. Here we are red light. Um, delivers tomorrow. Later, so I'll be able to spend the whole morning kind of. I'm gonna wear shorts because if it's warm here, it's definitely warm in Florida. So I'm gonna get uh, get there and then uh, get some time with it. Take some pictures, all that kind of cool stuff. Show you guys, and then from Albuquerque. What's up, Damian? Uh, big cam is good motor. You can still get rebuilt. It's, uh, that's what I was asking um, Allison. I was like, hey, can we? Have you ever rebuilt one of these? And she's like, nope. <laughs> I said, okay. She said they're dyno motors, but if it's already in a truck, uh, maybe one day, 12-7 swap, but I'd rather get this one running right. And they, uh, I was researching it. People say the uh, rebuilds aren't that expensive, like the new ISXs are, the new the turbos and stuff. It's more like the 12-7 stuff. Some lives, been a heck of a winter. There you go, David. I'm just glad you're in here, man. Uh, everyone loved the update. There you go, Storm. Thanks for stopping in. Best part, no DF, no DF, no emissions. Just a mechanical motor. Ohio, stop by Sheets where I work and come get some donuts. There you go, Bradley. I love Sheets, man. I love just making my own burrito there with your guys' kiosk. It's awesome. I love your piece. My wife uh, my wife could kill it. She's good. There you go, Mike. What's up, James? <sighs> but that's it, guys. I got a K100. So we got the cab over we've been thinking about forever. Get a kitty cat. Yeah, the Caterpillar is just more expensive to, to rebuild. Plenty of parts of them. Uh, a rebuild kit was seventeen hundred, and the heads were forty-four. Man, that's crazy. My head for this thing was like fifty-eight hundred, and the rebuild kit was like five. So, whew, that's crazy. That's that's awesome. Maybe I'll be able to convince Allison to, to do it with me, just to learn it. You know, we'll see. Might not have cruise. Yeah, I don't even. I don't even use cruise control on my truck, man. I'm always with my foot, which it gets tired after a while. But I never cruise control. Rebuilds are probably a third. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking. I'm sure PDI or some other people has a better manifold, a better turbo, um, better intake, all that kind of stuff. Which down the road, if we get go that route, of course, it's like we rebuilt this motor for $32,000. We will probably go all in on that motor too. And I will show you guys every step of the way of rebuilding a big cam 855. Crispy, what's going on? Happy Easter, everyone. Yeah, I hope you guys all had a great time with Easter. Uh, that's what the marriage is all about. We make decisions that put us in the dog. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Out here from the land between the lakes, Tennessee. There you go. That guy's just kicking it on the zero turn. Got a foot up, got a coke in his hand. Rolling to the next piece of grass. Uh, that's what, oh, okay, that's what marriage is all about. Oh, uh, Kenneth, thanks a lot, man, from Alaska. Heck yeah. Wales, UK, about to visit Tennessee. Oh, you're going to love it out there, Ian. I hope you guys are going like Gatlinburg area. Pigeon Forge, so pretty up there. Lots of, lots of and you'll be right above me. That's a two, two and a half, three hour drive from Greenville. If you get get bored, come down to Greenville. Yeah, Mike Bravo, you can email me, rmtfreight at gmail. Come to Sheets, donuts are on the house. Thanks a lot, Bradley. What's up, Patrick Lane? How you doing, man? Hope you're, hope you're doing good today, man. Hope you had a great Easter. I-frame, there you go. Cab over culture, thanks a lot. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm happy to be part of your gang now, man. 
Great live, bro. I'm excited for you. Thanks a lot, SoCal. Appreciate it, man. Let's just pray it all goes good tomorrow. Everything uh, goes through. Clean title and all that stuff. That he, like he said, he seems like a stand-up guy. He's really into the trucking culture. That's probably why he was building it. Um, so he knows a lot of people. And one of his friends on Facebook, of all things, is Bubba, the guy who we met at Shell. Awesome guy. I forget his last name. Uh, he built that amazing red Peterbilt that had like the RGN. It's all done up. Uh, it's crazy. <laughs> we have an 855 big cam in our full tractor. There you go, 1976. Thanks a lot, Patrick. Appreciate it. Yeah, I don't know if uh, Tim's ever d messed with the big cam. I imagine he probably has. Do I ever do a long haul? No, I'm waiting for the kids to get older. T Dubs and I will, will definitely be hitting Arizona and back a lot. So my brother's at. Still red light. Um, but right now, I just do out and back so I can still be in those kids' lives, you know? Are you going to put a green APU? Yes, John, we will be. Green APU, and uh, I'm trying to get a sponsorship with that company that makes those red wheels, red aluminum wheels. Because right now, it has 24 fives in the front, 22 fives on the rears. Um, Jackknife, what's going on, man? Good luck with the new truck. Thanks a lot, George. <clears throat> Going to want to switch over to driving the cab over more? Are you going to? No, okay, it's just going to be a content truck. I'll be getting it redone and, and prettied up. And then if this, God forbid, everything, anything ever happens to this old girl, we'll have another sleeper truck as a backup until this one gets fixed or uh, just pray this one always is good. But you just want to have another truck in case you have your own little fleet. We're getting loaded. This load is taking us down to um, where the cab over is so we can pay for it and then the guy this is youtube's crazy guys the guy that helped me find the truck lives up here in north carolina and he runs rgn a lot so he's like he's like i can get an rgn we can go down there together and grab it i'm like that would be awesome man and then i can have it in my shop or have it at the concrete shop and we could get it right there some lines need to be hooked up the fuel tanks need to be redone <clears throat> um that kind of stuff the, the exhaust need to be put back on it once all that's done uh we can at least drive it around you know and then work on getting little stuff here and there uh, two COE 83s, big cam, and 96. There you go. Night with the 60. There you go. Tim from Colorado. Another bed in a stretch cab over here. And I wasn't looking for a stretch one. This one just already was. I was when, he, when he sent me the link and I opened it up, I was like, this is perfect. Minus the 12.7 Detroit. Uh, but then I started researching 855 Cummins. And I was like, okay, very, very common. They were used like as much as the Detroits were, just older. Um, what to do? Keep, yeah, of course we're keeping W9. Make it a show truck. No, I'm not gonna. Those guys spend so much money on those trucks. I can't imagine how much was in that one Peterbilt at Matt's that was on 28s and had a uh, dozer 12 cylinder <laughs> cap motor in it. Uh, which is, I think, I watched another guy's video where he interviewed the guy who built it. I think it was Dickerson Customs or something like that. Super knowledgeable guy, like what he, what he does. Did you sell the day cab? We did. So day cab is going to the cement company. Um, well, I just gave him first crack at it. I just told him go through it with it with taser mechanic, uh, get the clutch brake fixed, and then if it if it's what you want, you could have it um, for a really good price compared to what I could sell it for. Um, even like I had a guy offer me seventeen five uh, a couple days ago for it. I said, eh, let's see what they're gonna do. Did you trade the FOD? No, but the FOD will give me more money in my pocket than I'm spending on the cab order. So that's good. Straight pipes, please. Yes. I'm pretty sure it already, does, already has that. Uh, nice. There you go. Got a good lunch. See you later, Mike. Enjoy Arizona for me, man. Hope you had a great Easter also, Patrick Lane. We did. We we did the whole kid thing, the whole chocolate and, and Easter egg hunt thing. But then we watched our, our typical um, kid story of how, what Easter's about so they can kind of understand he has risen in, in the three-day good friday to, to sunday so they they understand that a little bit but they're still cash gets it more but the Colin's like what <laughs> what's going on he died is he is he asked me if he's a zombie now i said no <laughs> we'll understand it more when you get over the, the belief when you do a long haul of the west coast i don't know if i'll ever go into california just with the regulations and stuff uh buddy that was just on your socal he runs out of there and he he's good with kind of keeping his trucks going the uh, there's just so much, I guess, red tape that I don't want to be involved in. So I'll, Arizona will be the farthest I go, probably. Just see brother. Go see brother in Phoenix. Can't beat the 
Ability of co and tight docks. There you go. Cab overs. Jessica, we're doing good. How you doing? Hit the like button. Thanks a lot, Mike. Peter Bell with tractors on trailer. I heard it was a $220,000 stereo system. <laughs> Straight pipe would be mandatory on those big rigs. Yeah. And husband fighting. It sucks. They are out of uh, my life food. Oh, there you go, Patrick. How long is it? Uh, I don't know. It's, the wheelbase, I don't know exactly. He has it on the thing. I forget what, it's, what it is. But it's almost as long as W9. It is a double bunk, Robert. Yep, it's the arrow, arrow dyne. Uh, that's what I wanted. That was the main characteristic. I would love to have had it white. I just wanted those two sleeper windows. The bigger uh, double bunk cab. April 1st. Yes, it is. And it's not Fool's Day. <laughs> well, we actually are buying a day cab. It's not an April Fool's joke. But it's funny that I went live and bought it on April Fool's. Keep the shiny side up and greasy side down. There you go, Kevin. Do a glider kit? Yeah, I don't even know if they're allowed to do those anymore, Mr. Mr. Understood. Like Fitzgerald, I think, had to stop doing them. I will, Jessica. Uh, just tell T-Dubs it was given to you. There you go. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Adco. Red light, warm out here. Been on here for, what, an hour? So I won't make this too long for anybody that watches the replay. How's Monday going? Monday's going good. We bought a truck and uh, the guys next was getting out of here. So that means we might be coming up next. Now, why are you pulling out still? That guy's still going. <laughs> he's, like still, yeah, he's just setting his brakes. <laughs> Are we gonna have a Walmart collision right here? Walmart was going past and he was uh, pulling out. Uh, Lord, Lord, I wouldn't want to go home with, tell you why, maybe call her on the phone, tell her. <laughs> she was, uh, she just wanted to know why I was doing it. Oh, for SS, there you go, man. That's a nice car. Wait, no, you didn't, it's not an O4 because they didn't make Camaros in O4. O2 is the last year of the SS. Is that what you bought, Crispy? Or are you talking about like a, uh, what was it called? A cobalt? Are you talking? Six feet. Yeah. Don't uh, don't forget to buff the other side, Jeremy. I did the tank last night. I was tired. I just got those shocks. Nothing's ever easy mechanically. It's crazy. The shocks came out, and uh, the new ones that they were a little bit wider, <laughs> so they wouldn't go into the top. And I'm like trying to fish the bolt and get it in there, and uh, so I ground them just a little bit, and then they slid easier, and then I got the bolt through. Whoop whoop! I can't. Oh, almost hit the wrong button. Thanks a lot, uh, Cuda. I'm sitting waiting at Walmart DC. I'm a uh, yeah. I'm, I'm waiting at uh, First Quality, the paper towel place. It'll eat light load, um, nine thousand pounds. That's gonna be awesome. Uh, thanks a lot, Jessica. I'll tell her she uh, she's definitely a pretty pretty uh, female. We we love T Dubs. Pretty inside and out. Sorry, I meant O2. <laughs> no worries, Crispy. That's the last year, man. What's up, LSX? What's up, Bruce? Yeah, we've got a K100, guys. we got an Aerodyne K100 with a big cam 400. Cummins with a 13-speed out of a 2014 Peterbilt. Um, stretch frame, rear ends out of 06 uh, T2000, I think it is, or T660. I forget what he said, but it's got airbags. So that's what needs to be reconnected is the brake chambers, the quick release valve and all that for the rear, um, and the airbags. That needs to be connected again to the air coming off the truck so that's one of the big things and then the new fuel tanks are on there but they're not hooked up yet so all the i guess physical stuff is done the frame stretched the tanks are remounted the drive lines redone uh, has an airbag rear now instead of a spring ride which i guess a lot of them had and it is stretched yep so it should be should be pretty cool i'm excited about it i want to get it running get it back up here and then uh, the craziest thing the guy that helped us find it is also an rgn guy so he might go down there with me and uh go get it so that'd be cool if i can get it running of course I'll, i'd like to do the trip riding it back um but we'll see no air riding the front no and so yeah we we, we will be learning the 855 big cam life like you said <laughs> will you get it home yeah it will be sitting right next to w9 i'll probably i don't know if i'll bring it to the cement shop shop because they have a nice shop there i don't want to take up one of their bays but if i can get it all hooked up and all that kind of stuff. I can do that over there next to the W9, but um, it's getting hotter and hotter, so it'll be sunnier and sunnier. Be nice to have it. At, I can't take it over to Allison. They don't have much room over there, and they don't really mess with the um, A55, so I don't want to hold up anybody's bays. I really want to build a shop at the lake, but 
we'll start here with a, a nice aerodyne cab over but thanks for all you guys coming in here it's almost been an hour take up the bay yep <laughs> i can't wait to see it in person either the pictures i'm just loving it so i spent stupid money on it shouldn't have but if it's nice one man hodgkins there you go four link that's awesome an lsa that's badass crispy always a pain on the cowboys that's what my buddy said he said um just the angles and stuff. My buddy Taze is like, man, it's crazy seeing how they angle this stuff for these cab overs. We are getting loaded. I can feel them going in there. So let me get a green light. Let me go regroup with uh, T-Dubs, get the cash. She took the cash out of the bank that I needed, the extra. Uh, get serious insurance cab. What's that? All right. Um, but yeah, look for, I'll do a little video today, of course, taking driving down to where we're going. And then tomorrow morning, guys, pray that everything goes smooth for me. Um, sounds like a really cool guy, uh, uh, upfront guy, uh, honest guy. I mean, you never know. Everybody's trying to look out for themselves, which I understand, especially when they're selling things. But the, what he has on here, he's just kind of like, he's done with the project. He wants to move it on. So I said, um, I would love to take that over, man. <laughs> I think my subscribers would love to see it too. So that's the next step. Appreciate it, guys. Love you guys. Thank you for everybody. Thanks again. Um, like I said in my video yesterday, we hit that 170,000 mark on YouTube. And that just means the world to me, guys. It means a lot that. I never asked for that. I never asked, never once in one of my videos asked anybody to do that button. I just don't think that's right. I think if you like what you see, you're gonna do it. So for everybody that's ever hit that, um, I truly appreciate that. And there are ways out there that people try to promote and um, like they buy views and they even buy subscribers, which is not saying anybody does that or anybody has done that, but that's a thing that's out there. So just for me to feel organically that each one of you have done that by your own grace of what you wanted to see, I appreciate that, that you, that you like us and, don't mind looking at my face and hanging out with me and my family because we love you guys and for all you guys have given to us. So we'll start another giveaway soon. I already have it in my head. We'll talk to safetyautoprep.com. And um, that one will be, I think it's going to be going in July. So look for that. It'll be five more keywords. And uh, <laughs> one of them will probably be something to do with the cab over. <laughs> God bless you guys. Thanks for stopping in today. We did get a K100 Aerodyne with a big Cam Cummins. And uh, look for it tomorrow. Should be in tomorrow's video. God bless you. See you on the next one.